probably because my wife, I'm guessing that my wife wants to go take a bath. That's why she locked him in here. Oh, stop with your cold, wet nose. Just rubs his cold, wet nose all over my arm. Dogs are good for that. They are good for that, and I guess a couple other things. Ooh, I get to play last. Yes. Yeah. Win the die roll. Play poorly, get rewarded all day long. So I'm going to play that Multani Yabamaya's avatar that I just lost to horribly in Arena. And we've got Lunil on Kinos and Tiro. Um, Jaypro on Bartel Rune Axe. Oh, uh, 6 5 Vigilance, Jund. And then we have Phyrexian on Yidris. Uh, what was your name again? Tribute, right? Correct. Correct. Tribute. Okay. Keeping this, I guess. Mm. All right. I'm also going to update my Twitter. Twitter. Getting in that extra game. Also, it's World Chocolate Day, and nobody told me. My wife told me super late in the day. I guess I have to run to the store then, or my wife will be upset at me. Right? My wife does not like uh, chocolate nearly as much as I do. Wait, did you say it's Chocolate Day? It is World Chocolate Day, yes. Oh my god, I have to go to the store. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I had a chocolate donut, thankfully, so I got one in. But I didn't have a ton, so... And it's just, like, I love chocolate. So I feel like I should just be having an entire box of it if it's World Chocolate Day. Any excuse. Really. Alright, I'm going to update my tweeter here as well. Hey, right, Jank, I'm going to need you to play a forest and tap. Yep. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> And we can all I, have the same first turn play. I can't do that. Oh wait, I just drew one. Never mind. Come on, what are you doing with your life? No, no, no. Oh, he got there. Nice. Got there. I'm so proud. <laughs> oh, sorry. But I had this might be my proudest moment in 3DH ever. Everyone playing turn one for us and passing. That's so good. And I even had a turn one play. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, I just realized this. I have a handful of tap lands, and I'm like, oh, I won't be able to play that until turn two. Oh. Oh, well. Committed. Now you can play it on turn two and just play one of your tap lands, and it won't feel that much different, right? Oh, no, did I not include? No, I did not. Well, that stinks. I forgot to include my actual link to my thing that was silly of me I apologize everyone gonna be just a second because I want to make sure get that out for everybody to come and hang out with us uh, what's my own name there we go All right. Yeah. Could have just done that real quick and then passed. Uh, Cheesebird, just want to say hello. First time chatting. I've been lurking since season one of Commander Versus. Never miss a Wednesday. You guys are awesome. I have a quick question about 3DH. How strict is the pricing on the format? Do I need to keep up on price changes, increases, go over budget? So the way that 3DH works is that we actually have a spreadsheet in the Discord here under the 3DH tab. If you go under the pins here, we have this season 1.1 sheet that you can look at and use to price. And if you make a copy of it, um, if you just like click, uh, let me get into game here real quick and make sure. Okay. Uh, if you just go ahead and click file, make or uh, make a copy, um, then you can make a copy for your own drive. And this is what we are using for the whole season. And so that means you don't actually have to keep up with it until the new one comes out for season two, which will be just a couple of weeks from now when uh, we get the 
information from Corset 2019. Schmidt 1166, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Luna without the full art, though. <laughs> yeah, Luna's the only one who doesn't have it. Oh, my goodness. Theros basics. Yeah, you got that, uh, got that theme going on. Thank you so much for the 50 bits. We're pretty close to getting that stream boss dead, too. Uh, I still owe Valdor a deck because I... Malcolm, go lay down, buddy. Out. Out. Your cold, wet nose is everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's dog problems. Yeah, he's... He keeps doing the thing where he sticks his nose under my arm. And because I'm talking basically to myself because he can't hear anyone else, he gets worried. And so he just sticks his nose under my arm until I'm petting him. Uh, but yeah, Cheese, Cheese Bird, if you'd like to play, just join the Discord. Uh, I'll make sure we get... Where are we? Discord, hopefully. There we go. Discord. Hey, Fargrand. Welcome to the Discord, or welcome to the stream. So the Discord is there if you'd like to check that out. Um, and that pricing will be stick until season two comes out. If you want to wait a couple of weeks for season two, I completely understand that. <laughs> why is <laughs> Doggo, why is my human talking to that glowy square? I must check on him. Yeah, it's about right. Elro Jr., if you have a version of a card that costs more than another version, are you required to get the cheaper version? Uh, no, you can use any version that you have. There's actually a couple of cheap versions of things like uh, Swift Foot Boot, or not Swift, uh, Lightning Greaves, because oh they, they have a promo version of it. So it's pretty cheap, uh, but if you have like a regular version of it, like a regular Mirrodin version of it, you're more than welcome to use that. I Did you pass through your turn somehow, Jank? I yielded through my turn. Oh no! Because I reinstalled Moto this morning because it wouldn't launch, and it reset all my hotkeys, and I was fumbling around. That's not good. Well, I hit the eight key on my keyboard, which is not out of you. <laughs> Normally. Normally yeah. it's a different hotkey. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, Road Junior. Yeah, it it might be worth it. I know that last time we did it, um, there were definitely a couple of changes because of the way that like treasure chests pay out, uh, because of the fact that treasure chests stopped having certain commander precon cards in them. Those shot up like crazy and became super expensive. So a lot of people had to remove those. So it might not be worth it to to uh, do one right now. Um, let's just do this. And then pester. Probably wait until season two at a deck build, but never got a chance to play. Yeah, that's understandable. I gotta see what your stream boss is actually at, because I cannot see it with its so small. Twenty-one twenty-two is all that is left. Is Multani my general? Yes. <laughs> my commander? Yes. It's uh, Multani Yavamaya's avatar. Right, good choice. Right, Luniel, the Idris? Good choice. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good choice. I think I will enjoy this. It seems bad for the rest of us. Nah, oh, that's fine. So that's... it's not amazing. Tutor, sure. After he skipped his turn, it's only fair he gets to search for a card. Yeah. Oh, I just... Okay, super fun. Hey, Elro Jr., thank you so much for the two months in a row, <laughs> Tier 1 sub. <laughs> oh, we got a dog because we did noodle arms. 
Oh, he gets worried when I do the woohoos. Hmm. He gets all sad. What can I do to help you? Says Malcolm. I want to get to cast. Oh, uh, so you either don't get your card or you don't get your land. Yep, I'm going to get the land. You're actually forced to get the land. Yeah, you can choose not to cast it, right? Or do you have you, to cast it? You have to cast a, a suspend spell. Oh, okay. Are normal games still happening tonight? Yep, we're still on schedule for the nine and the the game two after that. So. I will try and make this one quick in that I will be dying hopefully very soon. There are two Yidrises on the table. Exactly. So. <laughs> There's a very good chance we're going to get this one through soonish. Um, Someone's going to be dying. We soon. have an hour and a half until game until game one technically. So. I played a fun deck, but having a Yidris is definitely going to improve it. I can't blame you for wanting to play Yidris. No. I have lots yeah. of fun with playing a Yidris. Especially when I get to untap with him. Yep. After I played him on turn three, that's pretty nice. It's pretty nuts, though, with the rights flourishing. <sighs> you know what? We're going to do it the right way this time. The right way, he says. Yeah. Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair. Got the new chair. It's slightly more comfortable than the old chair, but it it was definitely broken. So I had to pry it all apart and fix some screws so that the back wouldn't fall on me. It's still super squeaky. You know what? After Jeremy plays Multani, I'm not going to be able to attack him anymore, so... What? Yeah, you are, because <laughs> you're going to play some big dumb creature, right? For six? I don't know that there's a bigger, dumber creature unless I had my own Multani, and I don't have two green, so... Yeah. <sighs> That's a big, dumb thing. Yeah. That's a Cascade trigger. That is. Ugh. Coalition Relic, sure. Cascading into... Aqueous hey. Form. Hey, Never mind. there you go. Now you can definitely... Just die. Prevent me from And walking. it begins. Yeah. I'm glad I got those two lands off the top. Don't need to be drawing any more of those. Yeah. How many did you actually reveal? Two. Two. Almost like... For the squeaky chair, I did say during the last stream, I think, that as soon as we get the computer funded, we will all probably be working on the squeaky chair and then uh call that good ooh cultivate it's a pretty okay primal amulet off that or cascade off that primal amulet probably be better if you you know got to cast it because then you could put the <laughs> thing on there reverse right? order yeah but still super sweet I'm not against it no Pretty good yeah getting the extra lands is always good it's a lot of islands there i like islands this deck has a lot of islands the inside trying to cheer oh i'm sorry no mm. are you trying to get the last trying to kill that stream boss all right let's get rid of this crumbling necropolis comes to play tapped anyway who wants all that i do give away a 3dh deck or tickets for it at least every time we do a 
stream boss dies. So. So he's at twenty eight out of forty. Let's Quick. just go ahead and get, get rid of that aqueous. But form. I did it all to myself with Sylvan Library. True. Oh, are you getting rid of my aqueous form? Oh yeah. Jeremy. You're not gonna attack me. Here but I wasn't gonna attack you again. I attacked you the first time. Gotta make uh, you just start moving around the table. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just the only way I'd attack you again is if I could kill you on the same turn I was attacking and that and we There's all know no that that's not that. a thing that ever happens with you, right? That's not a thing that ever happens at all. Agreed. <laughs> not just not with me at all. It never happens. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pass through the turn. Hello, Shroud. Looks like you're trying to. I don't know what's going on with the cheer there. I apologize if you're having trouble. We're at what like? Just short. Yeah, 1820. There it goes. Thank you so much, Beansai, for the 2,000 bits. You also got us all a uh, sweet, or got me at least, PL Fluty. And 15 other people in now, chat. Now, Lunial, it's just not nice to attack me with my own commander. Thank you, you so see much. You see one. Beansai. Hmm. Woohoohoo. Got that 2,000 bits. Beansai becomes the new stream boss. People want to punch Beansai in the face. Let me make sure we get that in there for you. Hmm. Interesting to see you play the Dictate without Flash. I guess you are going for the Cascade Triggers, though. Yeah. Need to get all of you some decks. Giveaways for days. So the reveal cards off Cascade just go on the bottom, right? Yes, in bottom in a random order. That's what I thought. Yep. Rexy, I'm waiting for the sweet bitter. <laughs> well, let's let's not uh, talk about cards in my hand here. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ugh. That's funny. Four damage, eh? Mino, I'm back in Terminator voice. Probably should. I think this is the command. Yeah, I probably should put it in my stream rolls. I apologize. Get in there. Cam, yeah, I get it. I'm playing Idris. I'm doing scary things. Lunial is opening at 40 life. I think I'm about to hurt him way more than you. Hey, let's talk about this. <laughs> I hope this is true. Remember who didn't kill your burnished heart. One second, there we go. Now there's a sleepy puppy next to me. Walking Atlas. So between skipping a whole turn, I've managed to take my entire deck's plan and just like completely destroy it. <laughs> Got your pre-release foil Arcades. Nice. Oh, I did see that you you posted that in the uh, in the Discord, I believe. That's super sweet. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to a pre-release this weekend, unfortunately. I 
don't think we will. As much as I'd like to. I probably could have gone to the midnight one, but... I just didn't know that I would... Like, the last time I went to a midnight one, I built and then played round one, and then I went home because I was so tired. Because getting old sucks. Shroud says, nice, I unfortunately got almost nothing good for pre-release. I did, however, get our legendary bear friend. Bears, bears, bears. Arcades is the wall one, right? Uh, I think so. That sounds correct. Uh, Midnight is stressful. Yeah. For sure. That is... It, it's just so late, and you get so out of it, unless you're used to staying up super late like that. You get the bear one, too. It was super good. <laughs> Shroud says, I, I work third shift. Thankfully, I'm used to it. Yeah. Midnight was fun. Beacon of tomorrow's. Boo. Boo earns. Boo. Twink. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Boo. Two extra turns. Shuffle that back in. And then nobody else gets to take another turn. He could change the target. Could. Could. Not going to. Could. Doubt it. Also, Phyrexian, remember when you were complaining that you got hit with a burnished heart? And then you're taking three turns in a row? <laughs> Only three, though. I mean, Only... and I don't do anything else on this turn Man. other than take the two extra turns. Man. I mean... It's almost like people have a reason and to make attack. a land drop <laughs> and look come at here, cards. Come here, make two land drops and look at five cards. Hey, yeah. you know what? Loon will let me do that. Let's be <laughs> honest. Loon will let me do that. <laughs> Shroud says Most someone of these should... cards I'm looking at are from Lunul, not not myself. Uh, Shroud says someone should build a deck around Goreclaw for funds. Yeah. yeah I'm going to wait the wait a couple it. weeks. Uh, until we get a season two. Okay. Once we get that information out, then I'll probably build something, and we'll have a uh, have a couple of M nineteen uh, games. Ooh, which one is he again? Which one? The Gore. Gore Claw's the uh, bear, the legendary bear. Legendary bear. <laughs> yeah, the one that like does stuff on a if you play a four power creature, which is silly. Yes. Just go ahead and go to our but second main. Kind of sense. Guy at my LGS opened double scape shift and, and crucible and was pretty unhappy and... because it's his new uh legal pool, then someone told him the prices. Nice. Yeah, those are some expensive cards. I'm glad that uh that crucible is gonna go down. I would like to get one of those for like a land based deck. Mirari, oh my goodness. I think I want to put a charge counter on that. I need more mana. I, I don't have like, enough. I feel like you have enough. I don't feel like I do. I started the game, started to play Magic right around Odyssey block. It was like Torment was just coming out when I started. And the Mirari is actually one of the cards that early on I was super obsessed with. I wanted it to go in every deck that I played. I love that card. I just really, really like the artwork on it. And the ability was just like super mind blowing to me at the time. You just got a Magistrate Scepter and decided to Turbo Fog. <laughs> yeah. That's, I don't care. I don't think I want to cast anything right now. Shadow's going to be uh, playing a couple of test games of Turbo Fog, I believe. She said you're going to stream, right? Random trivia in Brazil, or at least in Sao Paulo. Some stars will have pre-release during release week because of the GP. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they're doing GP Sao Paulo right now and during pre-release weekend. 
It seems fun. Like there, I've seen a lot of pictures from it. It seems like a lot of fun. Wish I could have gone. Love the chaos one. <laughs> yeah, it's super great. Is this the third turn? This is the third turn. Yes. Yeah. Until he takes another one. Shadow Which Souls. will be by Morari and cascade into another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shadow says, streaming tomorrow morning, some test games <laughs> in standard. So You don't know any of those things are true. People like it to... might not even have another one in hand. People like to check that one out. I do, but I could not. Huh, I'm just expecting you to cast something that costs nine and then immediately hit eight up tomorrow. Because it went back to your deck. Something that cost eleven, actually. Oh, sorry. Oof, that's not good. Went yesterday and had an anxiety crisis, so I stayed home today. Yeah, that's understandable. Got to take care of yourself. Oh, look, more take extra turn cards. Who would have guessed? I think the equity of the other players goes up dramatically if I concede and take away the extra draw effects. Yeah. Kinda. That's true. I mean, if you want to manipulate the outcome of the game that way, you can. Last match was decided by... Hey, it's almost loss. like I knew that was going to be on top. Bit of a dumper in the GP. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. <laughs> And one, two. Throw mocking. Oh my god, appear. Huh? Tribute. Shroud. Cool ace. There's everybody that's playing later. Always yield. We're at like 8 o'clock now, so. Let's see how long it takes for Xen to actually kill us all. Probably not long. Not long. Not, not long once I find the things that make Yidris big. I haven't found them yet but i'll get there i mean hi buddy there we go reverberating the temporal trespass and then i'm on mirari reverberate to get to it again trespass. yeah okay dude, is this a scoopable situation is everybody okay with this <laughs> you don't want to see me do my cool thing I actually didn't know that was on top. Or the next thing on top. Cunning wish for wish, duplicated wish for elephant ambush, and wish exiled. Yeah. Ugh. I think I will transform Primal. Yep. For those not counting, I think this adds up to four. This is four more turns after four this more one. Four turns, yes. yes. So seven turns in a row. Yeah. And then the next one is worth three. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll deck. No. Not gonna happen with sixty something cards left and Yeah. And I'm pretty much just fishing for one card in particular now. Pure to make says... you just super big and just kill you all, so I'm basically just fishing. Pyrathon says note to self run stranglehold versus Phyrexian. <laughs> I mean, only if I'm playing this deck. This is the only deck I have that does this. I have 41 decks. How much you don't pick this one? I don't pick it often, but it's fun to play every now and again. That one will help speed up, but it's not the one I was looking for. Fire Shrieker. Yeah. Cascade and the Tutor. So there you go. Hey, there we go. That'll help us find what we're looking for. Nope. I cannot pay the three. <laughs> well granted I only have two one drops in the deck one is Sensei's and one is Vampiric Tutor so after I hit the first one I'm guaranteed to hit the second one the next time I cast the two drop spell well 
This is a three drop. Do you have many other two drops in the deck? Uh, not many. Like mostly ramp spells at two drop. Mm -hmm. And one of the cards I was looking for anyway, which is this one. Mm -hmm. So now it's basically I kill one of you on one turn, I kill one of you on the next turn, I kill the other one on the turn after with double strike and black blade, and I won't cast any spells. So it'll just go super fast. Yeah, we'll just play this. I don't care. Fair enough. Slash kick Phyrexian. Dark steel plate into Cyclonic Rift, let's, not overloaded. Let's bounce that back so I draw less cards to speed things up. Yeah. Ugin's Nexus also works against extra turns. Yeah. No, it does. It does. All right. So. Uh, always no. No. Just take eight every time you have to do Sylvan. Just do it. Kill myself. Nick, knock yourself right out. <laughs> Good. Jeez. Calling that good. Not gonna. Nope. Don't even care. Go ahead. Go nuts. Oh, he's not big enough. Seventeen I mean, double strike is plenty big enough. He's not big enough. He needs to be bigger. Play a couple lands. Eighteen double strike right, with your trampling commander yeah. is fine. <sighs> Just fine. I haven't hit Jenk yet, so it's only fair I hit him first. Good night, everybody. Yep. Turn eight, too slow for Exians, that shroud. It's not technically turn eight. Yeah, well, it is. The turn counter says turn eight. What turn did I start all this, though? Like, turn five? Let's see. Do we have a turn count on you? Because he let me cast Yidris on turn three? It's flourishing dictate. There's all that rights of flourishing extra mana that got me there super fast this time. Yeah. Turn five. Oh, you blocked with the walking atlas? Turn I love that, five. Jank. That Turn was awesome. Five. Turn seven, extra turn. So I think turn five is actually what it is. Was my last real turn? Yeah, that was your last real turn. So not, not too slow. It's yeah, actually, not too slow. Actually... I started all this on turn five. I just took all the turns. And I was going to cycle Decree of Annihilation and put three lands into play. You had all these things to do, right? It was, it was you know, I was going to play my big bad evil Jun deck that destroys lands. Oh, well, I'm glad I killed you first then. The forest will surround you. <laughs> what I'm doing is like gross. What you're doing is extra gross. If you are still in calm. All right, let's just go to combat. Build the blood of one elder dragon, and Gideon's had it, hand is it he had to taste another's. I'm gonna kill Jeremy last just because I can say I killed Jeremy last. Uh huh. Hey Bennett. Remember when I said I'd kill you last? Yeah, Matrix. <laughs> you did. I lied. I do have Beacon of Tomorrow's back in my hand too. Oh good. If I needed to take extra turns. I also have time stretch and park the water veil. Uh, a few extra turns. All my things have cascade, but I'm not casting any things. Good luck, Jeremy. I believe in you. All right. I'm going to block with my 1-1. One, one. You will. I know you will. As a last secret act, tech, he was waiting. Secret tech, he was waiting. He's got constant mists in hand, and he's got nine turns of fog. <laughs> if he really constant mist, I can't take all, all the extra turns. That would be great. I can, I can make this take forever and just see because he can only do it once. I think I still have an extra turn left. I'm gonna oh. put a counter on this. I'm gonna block two of it. There you go. Yeah. Pro plays. 
I'm going to block two of that first strike damage. That actually stops you from dying on the first attack. I know. That's amazing. Nope, it is was exactly 21. Okay. No. Oh, I thought it stopped it. Nah. I thought it was enough. I thought it was. Oh, yeah, I guess I had 16. You did have That's because I played that one more land. See, that, that one more land. I, it card. wasn't enough, Jeremy. It wasn't. Now we just I have needed that one extra land. Luna's triggered ability on the stack for so, some reason after the game ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm> just chilling. <laughs> So expropriate is not previously legal. No, nope, it is not because uh, conspiracy was not completely. It was not a draftable set. I don't believe on Magic Online. Conspiracy two, so it was only in treasure chests. Okay, eight.